Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today I'm going to just do a really quick tutorial on how I make the stones for my geodes. Geodes are the thing. Everybody's doing them. They're a lot of fun to do. You could do them in 10 million colors. So what I want to show you is how to take the basic crushed glass or glass marbles these are vase fillers, both of them. And do you, I want to show you how to turn these into different colors. Now, as far as these go, in order to the, use these, you have to break them up first. There are a couple of videos out there showing you how to do them. Abstract Boss is one, and Debbie at Mixed Media Crafts is another one. And basically what they do is... Now, I don't know if they do this, but this is how I do it. These marbles have a flat side to them. So what I will do is put them flat side down in an old frying pan. I will put it on the, the stove top. I'll put a lid on it and I will turn the heat anywhere from between low to medium. So basically, if you have a uh, stove that has numbers on it, I would do like a three or a four, like halfway in between that low and medium point for your heat. I'll leave them on for like 20 minutes, 20 to 30 minutes, get them really, really, really hot. While they're heating up, I will get a big bowl, fill it with a ton of ice and water, cold water. You have to have a lot of ice or they will not fracture correctly and you'll have a hard time breaking them. So once they've been on the stove for about 20 to 30 minutes, take them off, bring them over to the bucket of ice water that you have, and dump them in. What's going to happen is you're going to hear sizzling, and what's going to happen to the stone is you're, it's going to start fracturing. It's not going to break apart in the water, but when you pull this little glass bead out, you're going to see all little fractures in it. And if there aren't little fractures, you still have messed with the structure of the stone by shocking it with that cold water. So you're going to pull them, you're going to put them in there. You're going to let them sit in the cold water for like 10 minutes. Next step is very important. I learned this the hard way. Take the wet stones out and put them on a paper towel and either dry them or let them air dry before you start hammering at them because it is a mess to, to break these up and have chunks of wet glass mixed in with shards of wet glass. You really should dry them off first. So anyway, so you take them out of the cold water. What I do is I will put them in a Ziploc bag like this and then I'll put this bag into another Ziploc bag. And then I will go out in my driveway with a hammer. I will lay them out flat like that. And I will hammer away until I get the sizes that I want. Uh, the reason why I do the double Ziploc is because concrete and pavement, stuff like that, it's not a smooth service. So while you're hammering at this bag, it'll start tearing a little bit underneath and some of it will start falling out. So if you double bag it or even put a blanket, a towel underneath it, it would be a great help. So now we're at the point where we've broken up our stones I'm, and we want to make some colors for our geodes. So this is how I do it. Alcohol ink. Okay, I have a whole bucket of it comes in many, many different colors. If you apply alcohol ink to either these stones or the crushed marbles, okay, it will stain these and it will not come off once it's dry when you put it in the resin. Now, if you use it, if you put this into resin that you mixed alcohol in with, then it will reactivate it and it won't work. But if you're just using regular resin 
and you're not adding alcohol to try to get any special effects or anything like that or to thin it out, this will work beautifully. So I'm going to, I need two colors that I have to make. So I'm going to make those on film with you. I'm going to use one color with these glass deco stones that I bought at Hobby Lobby, $2.99 for the bag. And then one color I'm going to show you with the crushed glass marbles, how it stains them. And the two colors that I need right now, one is going to be Wild Plum Alcohol Ink, and that is by Ranger. And the other one is by Jacquard, the Pinata color line, and it is Senorita Magenta. I can show you here some black ones that I just made with the Jacquard. Hold it up close so you can see. Here are some black ones I made. Okay, they're all dry. You could see nothing on my hand. Once it's dry, they're good to go. You put them in the resin, it doesn't like smear off and color the resin or anything like that. It's, it's pretty much permanent unless you reintroduce it to alcohol of any sort. Then it would not be permanent. So, this is how I do it. There may be other ways to do it. This is just how I do it. So what I'll do is I'll take some stones, as many as I think I'm gonna need. I will dump them into a plastic cup. Something black in there. I just saw it. Of course it's sunk to the bottom. Well, I'm not gonna worry about it. Dump them into the cup. And then I'm going to take my alcohol ink and all it takes is a couple of drops, believe it or not. So I have six drops in there. Then what you wanna do is take a stick and just mix it around and see what the color looks like and whether or not you're happy with it. Now this is too, too pink for me, so I'm going to add some more in. I gave it a squirt, so we're gonna say it's about a quarter of a teaspoon worth. Another good thing about this is you can mix colors, two different alcohol inks I made a beautiful orangey gold, and I will show you those in a second. So I have the color all mixed in, almost. You could also, to ensure that you got the bottom ones covered good, dump, dump them back and forth in between cups, because sometimes you'll miss a few. So I'll go like this, back and forth. Okay, and then once you're done with the color, what you wanna do is let them dry. Don't throw them right into anything right away. Let them dry for about a half hour, okay? There you go, you have pink stones for your pink geode. So that's set number one. Put it, just put it to the side when they're dry. In about a half hour, take it like this and Aim it back into the cup. Here, I'll show you. Get you on camera. Shoot them back into the cup. Okay, and you're ready to go. I let them dry just, you know, get the extra ink off that's there. I spread them out a little bit. And that's that. So that's the first type of stone. This next one will be these marbles crushed up. I guess you should, I should be calling them face fillers. Now I hadn't finished crushing these up so there are some big pieces in there but 
I'll show you anyway. Now, I want you to see something in here. Do you see that white down in here? That's basically glass dust from banging the rocks. If you don't dry your rocks before you hammer at them, that glass dust is going to be all over your rocks because it's wet. So that's why I say dry them off good before you start smashing them. Anyway, so that's the next one. And for this one, I'm going to do the other color, which was the magenta. So again, a couple of drops. And I'm not sure I might have to add in a different color because this one is very similar to the other one. Well, it's a little brighter actually, so maybe I won't do that. So I put about a quarter teaspoon in there. And you know what? That's probably too much even. You just start off with a few drops. Depending on how much, how many of the stones that you have, that's what you want to do. That's what you want to judge as far as how much alcohol ink you need. So those are all mixed up that quick. And I'm just going to spread them out to dry. Look at that. Beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I'm at the bottom of my bag or else I wouldn't have all this little dust like that. I need to actually crush up some more. But there you have it. I mean, it's very simple. You can make tons and tons of colors. I'm going to show you a few that I have made here. This one was used, these were uh, made using, let me see if I can get some good light here, Sunset Orange and Gold Mixative, which is one of the alcohol inks, the gold. Let's see if my light, my little light here shows it better. You see how pretty those are? Isn't that gorgeous? So I made those. I have some pretty, pretty aqua ones. I don't know if that's helping or not. I have some pretty purple ones. Ooh, I got a hair on my finger. Okay, and that was amethyst. This one was made using mermaid blue. Then I have these ones here. That was a turquoise color. And that's all I have out as of right now in the black that I use. Also, another thing you can do. The Dollar Tree sells sea glass. Okay, they sell this sea glass at Dollar Tree. If you you treat this like the glass marbles, put it in the, the hot pan, then the cold water, these also smash up, break up. There's a cup of those all broken up. Here's some bigger ones. Okay, so it's it's really, really fun to do. Once you start doing this, you'll, we as artists, we got to have 10 million of everything. You will make every color under the sun, I promise. So anyway, that's it for that video. I just wanted to give you a quick little DIY type of instructional video because I have been asked how I've made them. So there you have it. Um... I'm working on my next video right after this, and uh, I will get this one uploaded, and talk to you guys soon. 
Have a great night and happy pouring.